Let's see, I'm going. Hey everyone, and welcome to Chef AJ Live. I'm your host, Chef AJ, and this is where I introduce you to amazing people like you who are doing great things in the world that I think you should know about. My guest today is back by popular demand. Her name is Kiyomi, and she is from Say Me Tea, and she is going to be talking about the benefits of green tea in general and specifically for cancer. Please welcome her back. It's so nice to see you again. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you so much, Chef AJ. Um, uh, I'm so happy to be back here, and um, it's so honored uh, to uh, to be your guest. You know, I have to tell you something. I, yes. I have to tell you something. So, I, I'm, I you're probably familiar with Dr. Christy Funk. Yes. Yes. Well, she was on the show recently, and she was talking about the benefits of green tea, particularly for breast cancer. And oh, guess okay. what? She had on her counter your tea. Oh my gosh, wonderful. Seriously? Yeah, yeah uh, absolutely. I have to thank her. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely. Isn't that great? Yeah. Yes. I mean, she, awesome. she wasn't there to promote specifically your brand, but that was the brand she had. Okay, wonderful. Great. Well, thank you so much for letting me know. That is wonderful. Absolutely. Okay, so, um, well, shall we begin? Um, yes, absolutely. Okay, well, thank you so much again, Chef AJ. You, you've been so wonderful um, for me and um, for CMT and the Cancer Patients Group. So, um, all right, I am wondering if I can okay, So, So before I share my um, presentation, um, I'd love to introduce myself and I'd, I'd love to talk about my story. Uh, because um, some of you may know me, but some of you may be just, you know, first time uh, to, to hear from me. Okay. So uh, my name is Kiyomi, and um, I am the founder and owner of Seimi Tea Company. And I'm a native Japanese, so you can hear my accent, <laughs> strong accent. And, uh, um, but I am a proud U.S. citizen. Uh, I came to the United States 20 eight years ago it's hard to believe you know that that much time passed by already and i've been um i've been a u.s citizen for 12 years and after i came here i started my family i have a beautiful boy and a beautiful girl they grown up quickly as you can imagine <laughs> and um when my second one that um my second one was born, my green tea journey started. When I called my parents in Japan, uh, I was told, you know, I, I called to share my great, great news. You know, my, uh, my baby is born and beautiful and healthy. And then my mother told me, well, that's great. Now you know this news. Your father is in a critical condition from lung cancer. And um, we were told just three months life left. And I was shocked. I was really shocked because I haven't seen them for a long time. And um, I was wondering when I go and see them. And then a few weeks afterwards, my husband came home with the news. Uh, he was diagnosed with colon cancer. Yeah, yeah. So... We had to wait for the, um, the test, you know, the further test for um, a few months. That was a really, really hard time for us. And you probably, you know, if you are um, diagnosed with cancer, you know, that period of time is like a limbo. You don't know anything and you don't know how, how far, you know, the, uh, the cancer went. And uh, it was a really hard time. And we found out um, his cancer was already um, stage three and survival chance was 50-50. So um, after he was going to hospital, um, I was um, really, really scared. And uh, I think I was feared of that you know, unknown future. So I went to depression. And with my newborn baby and a two-year-old, you know, I was really, really uh, depressed and um, often crying, sobbing. And one day, with my newborn in my arms, my 
three-year-old boy just uh, quietly stood behind me and started to pat my shoulders. And he said, it's okay, mommy. It's okay, mommy. So that was the moment I decided to change. I decided to do anything I can do to help my husband. And unfortunately, my father passed away, but I decided to do anything, right? So when my husband came home from hospital, I changed diet, and he ate a lot of cabbages, a lot of broccoli, you know, all that stuff. And um, the green tea was one of the major diet changes. And that was 21 years ago. So you... I couldn't find any of the um, matcha or any organic teas. So anyways, I thought I'm going to get whatever available. And I got the green tea tea bag teas. And I told my husband, please drink this tea bag teas, 10 cups a day, each time freshly brewed. (laughs) And my husband did first day, second day, and third day. He looked at me and he said, Honey, I can't do this anymore. I'd rather die. It was, it was shocking and also uh, it made me curious. <laughs> it ignited my um, desire to, to help him like, um, <clears throat> um, you know, through the roof. So I, I, Seriously, um, started to research green tea. You said about the green tea, and I wanted to find out what makes green tea more delicious, what makes green tea more potent. So those are the two things I wanted to find, and I started to research about green tea. And uh, as I discover more facts about green tea, I asked my friends in Japan and uh, started to um, the correct uh, the, the tea products. And one of them had all the criteria I wanted to have. And I gave that tea to my husband. And he said, wow, I can drink this. It's tasty. And he started to drink like five to six cups a day every a few hours and because he liked it. He just he liked the flavor. And also he used that tea like, um, you know, the ritual time um, saying mantra, you know, I'm going to be better. I'm going to get rid of this cancer. And, you know, that, that bastard will go away. <laughs> so... So it worked beautifully, it was going well. And when we went to see his oncologist, his oncologist said, um, well, you beat the odds. You don't have to come, up, come back and see me anymore, but don't stop drinking your green tea. And he added, he did his own research and he said something going on with the green tea. And I believe, it is the one uh, contributed to your, your um, he- healing, your cure, one of them anyway. <laughs> so don't stop drinking your green tea. So we came home and we looked at each other and we, we said, well, we have to share this news. We have to share our discoveries with American folks. And uh, that's how we started Sammy Tea. So that was. Yeah, our beginning. Nice. So here we are. Yeah. Congratulations on your husband's recovery. Yes, and he's been cancer-free for 21 years. And uh, yeah, he's been do- doing well. Thank do, you. And do any of his doctors uh, like credit his change of lifestyle or drinking the tea to his recovery? Yeah, definitely. So, um, you know, he is, he is, you know, um, most, a lot of, you know, plant-based whole foods. At that time, we didn't know that was, 
right? <laughs> 20 years ago, but you know, that's what we did. And we are still, you know, eating actually more of those. And at that time, we didn't realize that green tea we are consuming is the plant-based whole food, you know. Um, but anyway, you'll find out what it means, you know, the green tea as a whole plant-based whole food from this presentation. Yeah. Great. Can't wait. Great. Thank you. So um, I get a lot of questions. And so I made this presentation based on the, um, the questions also. So um, hopefully um, you, your question will be answered. And if you had the question um, still unanswered, please type it in the chat. And I'm sure CFAJ kindly will keep track of it and um, ask those questions at the end of the presentation. Does that work for you, Sifeja? Absolutely. So guys, please wait until she's done with her presentation because I see there's a question now. I don't want to miss it with your question marks at the beginning. So thank you. Okay, sounds great. All right, now I'd love to share my presentation. So I'm going to share my screen. Okay, can you see my Yeah, just screen? maybe change it so we don't see your desk. Yeah, perfect. Okay, great. I'm gonna minimize my screen. Okay. All right. So so I made this presentation. So you're gonna be excited about the discoveries and also encouraged and empowered. And you can move on to the uh, next chapter of your life. You, your life will keep going um, triumph triumphantly, like we did. So that is the purpose of this presentation. And before we go, uh, I'd love to tell you, I'm not a doctor and I'm not in a position of making any medical recommendations for you. Um, you have a lot of, you know, um, the history and you have, you know, your own, you know, unique situations. And I cannot any, uh, I cannot make any medical recommendations. What we are doing here, what I'm doing here is to share my discoveries that you can use to make your own decision with your health practitioners. So hopefully it will be helpful for you. Now, just now, um, Jeff AJ said, uh, Dr. Funk, uh, Christy Funk, uh, was talking about the green tea and uh, breast cancer. And uh, next month, October, is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And probably you've seen this. One in eight women in the United States eventually would develop breast cancer in her lifetime. So now, if you're a man, you know, probably you're wondering, you know, how about how about me, you know, uh, the breast cancer for men? Well, my research said it's actually the same. One in eight men will get breast cancer. So that means 13 people out of 100 people will develop cancer, either prostate or breast cancer. And if this show is watched by like 10,000 people. So it's just amazing. 1,300 people will get it. And um, you know, 50,000 people, if um, 50,000 people are watching, it's uh, astounding. 6,500 people will develop the breast, uh, prostate cancer or uh, breast cancer. So we have to do something. And the good news is we can do it, we can beat the odds. So we're gonna find out what we need to do. What are they? First of all, what is the cancer? What causes the cancer? And um, what we can do using green tea. So the cancer is not caused by single cause. So cancer is developed as the result of the cumulative disruptions caused by risk factors. What you input in 
your system affects outcome. When input is crappy, you end up with a crappy outcome. Input is not only food and drinks, but also thoughts, relationship, exposure to the environment, all that stuff. And exercise is not just a burning calories, but it also adds stimulations on the cells and it triggers all kinds of chain reactions of enzymes and the hormones that energize cells with healthy signals. So I kind of consider those are the input. And fortunately, they are something we can control. So let's focus on what we can control and we, let's find out what green tea can do for you. So there are the disruptions that causes cancer and other serious diseases. When these disruptions happen constantly, it suppresses the body's defense mechanism and creates an inflammation-friendly environment, which is also tumor-friendly. Chronic stress is also a major health disruption. Stress is hard to measure, but chronic stress is clearly associated with cancer. Recent study even found chronic stress wakes up dormant cancer cells. So we want lifestyle to improve hormone imbalance, weaken gut health, poor inflammation system, and compromised immunity. And good news, science shows green tea helps all of these aspects. In fact, the green tea's positive effects on health have been observed in much deeper and complex levels. Now, we're gonna take a look at a few examples of scientific studies of green tea and cancer. Green tea's most prominent antioxidants are called catechins. EGCG is one of the subcategories. EGCG has been studied intensively in the past 30 years first in Japan and then now scientists all over the world study this biochemical compound. Catechins seem to recognize healthy cells and problematic cells. Catechins promote the growth of the healthy cells and stop the problematic cells. Catechins stop the blood vessels feeding cancer cells and bring progr programmed death of cancer cells, which is called apoptosis. Stem cells are baby cells to grow. This study observed EGCG killed stem cells of colon cancer. As you already know, gut health governs a lot. Hormone balance, immune health, and mood and personality, emotions. Studies found colon cancer patients have weaker gut health. And catechins increase good bacteria and decrease bad bacteria and achieve the optimal ratio of good ones and bad ones. Catechin antioxidants and EGCG neutralize free radicals and inhibit oxidation of cells. Oxidation is a chemical chain reaction that may damage healthy cells and may cause health problems. But antioxidant activity of green tea doesn't stop there. Studies are done to see the relationship between EGCG and mitochondria. And they observed EGCG helped mitochondria to function well. Why is healthy mitochondria critical for your health? Because our bodies are made up of trillions of cells and each one of them has mitochondria. Mitochondria are the powerhouse of the cell. 
they convert the food we eat and the air we breathe into ATP, a special type of fuel that, that generates, generates the energy our cells need to keep up as healthy and alive. Mitochondria are also responsible for sending messages to other parts in the cell so that the cells perform their own functions well, and also for controlling cell growth and cell death. For our bodies to be performing at, all, at their best, we need our mitochondria to be performing at their best too. EGCG helps to keep mitochondria healthy. Now, EGCG also helps DNA uh, repaired and healthy. Paramores are like the protective tips on your shoelaces. They protect the DNA strands from damage. There have been many, many studies, both in vitro and clinical, showing the association between green tea consumption and the decreased risk of breast cancer. This diagram shows the summary of many studies done for green tea effects on breast cancer. Now, you can see ROS on this diagram. ROS is reactive oxidized species or free radicals. ROS is highly reactive and buildup of ROS in cells may cause damage to DNA, RNA, and protein, and may cause death of healthy cells. The reaction of the pathway is not renal. So the, all the reactions, the positive reaction to help uh, you to recover from the, the damages is not necessarily lineal, often two ways. So EGCG helps the cells to interact with the, um, the, the chemicals, the positive compounds, or even interactive. It is just a fascinating, fascinating um, the, the system, the mechanism. So we looked at some of the examples of the studies, and there are so many more out there. Now, we looked at the, the studies, and all of them, all of the wonderful benefits, outcomes are based on these compounds. So these compounds are responsible for the wonderful results, which, which are catechins and EGCG. Catechins and antioxidants are polyphenols and also flavonoids. EGCG is the most important one of the subclasses. So you want to include these in your daily diet. However, unfortunately, Green tea naturally comes with caffeine. Caffeine sensitivity varies person to person, and these are side effects of caffeine. Increases cortisol level, blood sugar level, eventually, you know, it's, um, they're related to inf um, the, the information, and uh, decreased minerals and vitamins like vitamin D and B, and uh, develops tolerance. That means you will need more to get the same energy. And uh, that uh, increases anxiety and might develop insomnia. So especially because we'd like to drink green tea as part of a wellness regimen, you will not want to develop anxiety or insomnia. That leads to these two conditions as the best green tea. The highest amount of catechin with the minimum amount of caffeine. So now we have the, the four conditions of 
the best green tea. Now, what what which green tea has those four conditions? Now we're going to start the journey to find the best green tea. All right, now the stage one. <laughs> we have to recognize which tea has uh, the catechin. Okay, so the tea, when you hear about the tea, you know, all kinds of teas are available, like made with arm, made with um, fruit, bark, root, um, and all kinds of teas. But here, um, we're gonna focus on the tea made with a plant called Camellia sinensis, because Camellia sinensis is the one naturally offers catechin. So our teas are called a tea stain, and technically they are not true, truly a tea. True tea is made with a plant called Camellia sinensis. Enzymatic oxidation creates different types of true tea. So green tea is not oxidated at all. Udon tea is partially oxidated and the black tea is completely oxidated. So our tea is made with the tea leaves that were further fermented with microorganisms. White tea uses specific kind of chameleon sinensis, which is called a cultivar and is slightly oxidated because oxidation enzymes do not get deactivated, unlike green tea. And here we have first FAQ, which tea is the healthiest. So the healthiest tea we want here is the, uh, the highest amount of catechin, uh, uh, the, the tea with the highest amount of catechin. So, because of the, uh, the process to deactivate the oxidation enzyme, green tea retains the highest amount of catechins that chameleon sinensis naturally contains. So green tea is the healthiest tea among those available uh, true teas. Now, journey step two. So among the green teas, what kind is the healthiest? And the answer is organic and Japanese green tea. And here's why. The organic tea is actually the healthiest because of course, you know, uh, toxin free and um, chemical free. And also uh, this is something I'm, now um, speculating and also love to find the, um, the study that supports my speculation. Um, the organic tea has pests and when pests nibble on the tea leaves, probably tea leaves trying to protect themselves and create more antioxidants. And that's what um, the, the uh, doctor, Dr. William Lee uh, specifically tells about the strawberries and olives, I found, I heard that. And I, probably it is true to all the, um, the products, um, the produce, produce products. So I'm, I, I, I tried to find the, the support, supportive um, scientific study if anybody done that. So uh, organic tea is not only um, chemical free, but also, possibly higher in antioxidants. I know the organic tea is higher in minerals and the vitamins, but I'd love to find out that the antioxidants are also higher. So organic one is the good one, but we have to find um, something organic satisfaction doesn't address, which is lead. Lead is the um, heavy metal and we, you don't want to accumulate the lead in the system. And unfortunately, organic satisfaction doesn't consider any, anything about the lead. So we voluntarily um, test for lead and also we 
uh, test other items too that um, organic satisfaction doesn't address, which is the, uh, the microorganic organisms like mold, yeast, um, and the bacteria. And also we test for radiation too. And um, here is uh, the great source um, resource. If you haven't watched this video yet, this video was made um, by Dr. Gregor at the nutritionfacts.org. And um, it talks about um, why Japanese green tea is um, the better option, especially if you're consuming uh, the green tea leaves uh, in terms of lead. Um, so I highly recommend to watch this video. The video address is right there. And so the best green tea is uh, organic and Japanese because it's uh, lead free or uh, really low in lead. Uh, unfortunately, the Japanese green tea is hard to find. It says 1.6% of world green tea production is only ja uh, Japanese green tea. The last year, 2021, 6.5 million tons well, uh, of tea was created, produced in the whole wide world, but only less than 2% is Japanese. And out of that, only 3% is organic, organic Japanese green tea. So it is hard to find, but when you come to our uh, website, um, everything is Japanese, authentic, and, um, and also we test for the uh, that led. So you can get the pure green tea. Next one, next stage is now we know organic Japanese green tea is good. Now, when you hear tea, you can um, imagine probably like a brew tea, um, tea bag tea or loose leaf tea. But now we also have in a powder form, green tea powder. So which is better? Um, green tea powder wins this competition because green tea powder is ground tea leaves. And when you consume green tea leaves, you consume entire leaves. The nutrition in the tea leaves are more than catechins. And even if you brew the same leaves three times, almost 80% of the nutrition stays in the tea leaves. You don't get it. When you boil spinach, the water becomes green, but you don't drink the green colored water because you know most of the nutrition is in the spinach, not in the water. So with this, the uh, question frequently asked, uh, asked question is, can I eat the green tea leaf after I brew it? Yes, you can. If the tea leaf is quality fresh, then actually it's present to eat the tea leaf. But you, you want to make sure the quality, the organic and lead free, you know, all that stuff. And it may give you one opportunity to enjoy the tasty culinary experience with the same leaf, but the powder is a simpler way to enjoy the green tea as a whole food. It's very convenient. I'll, um, I'll talk about it later. Now, as a whole food, you ingest these nutrition. This nutrition when you enjoy green tea powder or entire leaves. So not just catechins and EGCG and L-theanine compound is also healthy. It's a natural relaxant and also all kinds of vitamins and minerals. And the vitamins uh, written in red are fat soluble. So if you're brewing the tea leaves, uh, you don't get any of those. And the black ones are water soluble. But if you are brewing the tea leaves, you don't get 100% of those in the tea water. 
um, about 20 to 30 percent will come out into the sea water. So if you are if you eat whole tea leaves or if you ingest whole tea leaves in a powder form, you get 100 percent of the nutrition. That is the reason we think we consider the tea powder, green tea powder is plant based also. Now, we're going to move on to the step four. What type of green tea powder is the good one? Here at the same tea, we offer various powder tea, including hojicha powder, gemaicha powder, sencha powder, and matcha. Uh, just briefly, I'm going to explain what um, they are. Hojicha powder uses hojicha, which is roasted sencha. The roasting process decreases catechins and caffeine, but it, it, um, it's delicious with comforting roasted aroma. Many people who do not appreciate green tea's vegetable flavor enjoy this tea. But um, like I said, it, it decreases catechin amount. And again, matcha is a blend of sencha and toasted rice. The aroma is like popcorn, and its toasted aroma is really popular. So, um, in terms of catechin amount, sencha powder and matcha are the um, the the two candidates for the you know the comparison. And what is the uh, difference between matcha and sencha, and which one is better? Sencha is grown in the full sun, and after harvest, the leaves are steamed to stop oxidation. Traditionally, sencha is consumed as loose leaf tea, but now sencha powder is available to enjoy the entire tea leaf. And I'm going to show you what uh, the tea field looks like. So this is the uh, sencha tea leaves that are never being shaded. The sunlight converts theanine. You see theanine on the bottom of this slide. The sunlight converts theanine to catechin. Catechins are the antioxidants that you want, remember? And uh, the blue round substances represent chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is a pigment that gives green color and absorbs sunlight. With abundant sunlight, the number of chlorophyll is, can be low. They, they, they can efficiently uh, create energy from the photosynthesis. So sencha powder is naturally yellowish green, like this color. Now this is the picture of shade-grown tea field, and shade-grown tea field creates matcha and gyokuro. Now less sunlight makes Fewer catechin because theanine remains as theanine. And because of less sunlight, plants increase the number of chlorophyll to increase the efficiency of its photosynthesis. So more chlorophyll, and chlorophyll is the color pigment. So shade grown tea. Matcha powder is much brighter green, like bluish green. So now that leads to this popular question. Is your tea ceremonial grade? Well, I know where this question comes from because you know out there, you know, and there are all kinds of articles talk about the best quality tea is ceremonial grade. 
And is your tea ceremonial grade? Yes, we offer ceremonial grade matcha. And um, ceremonial grade or everyday grade or culinary grade, they are um, all matcha. And um, the difference comes from the length of the shading period. And our matcha, all of them, ceremonial and everyday grade are certified organic Japanese and tested for lead, microorganisms, and radiation. But if you are using the green tea for cancer regimen, you have to stop and think, evaluate that is the ceremonial green tea, is ceremonial matcha the tea you want to drink? So please take a look at this slide really carefully. So the decaffeinated center powder or regular center powder has um, the highest amount of catechins because they never um, grown in shade. Uh, remember the, the shade grown tea uh, is, well, the, the tea fields are shaded to increase theanine or umami and to decrease catechins because catechins are bitter and um, producers don't want that. You know, they want to create a delicious matcha. So um, the matcha has less catechin and the ceremonial grade matcha is even, has even less caffeine, uh, less catechin. But at the same time, um, if you want to have more umami, more theanine, and uh, the gorgeous green color, of course, you know, the longer sh shading period uh, creates bad effects. So ceremonial grade matcha is the best. So you need to aware that the highest grade doesn't mean highest amount of catechin. Now we have the destination of the journey to find the best green tea. So the best green tea for cancer regimen is Japanese organic sencha powder. And that meets all criteria. High in catechin, safe from contamination, including lead. It is whole food, provides vitamins, minerals, and fiber and sencha powder offers more catechin and less caffeine than matcha. So that is the answer. I hope you are excited. When I discovered this fact, you know, I was just so excited. So which tea is the best to combat cancer? The answer, Japanese organic Sencha powder that was tested for lead microorganisms and radiation. Now, Edible Green is our trademarked product name of the uh, Japanese organic sencha powder. And the caffeine amount in regular Edible Green is 10 milligrams. And uh, decaffeinated offers less than three milligrams of caffeine. So um, more antioxidants and less caffeine, but um, it's, it's not completely um, caffeine free. That's not naturally occurs because the green tea uses Camellia sinensis. Camellia sinensis naturally provides uh, the caffeine. So please aware of that. However, that uh, the decaffeinated green tea, this 
since the powder edible green decaffeinated um, has just less than three milligrams per, per serving, it is close to caffeine, uh, close to caffeine zero. Now, uh, is the decaf tea still healthy? So that is the next very popular question. Okay, I got it. You know, you, you got uh, the decaffeinated, the safe, safe decaf process because it doesn't use anything else but water. But is it still healthy? Now, I'd like to talk about effectiveness of the water process decaffeination. This process uses only water, no chemicals. The water temperature, soaking time, and the drying method are controlled strictly to remove caffeine while EGCG is retained. And this is how it works. If you brew decaffeinated green tea leaf, you just get colored water with few antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals because all the water soluble part of the nutrition is gone, removed from the process. However, as you did, uh, as you saw in the previous slide, most nutrients remain in the tea leaf. As for EGCG, the study shows the water process decaffeination didn't affect amount in the leaf. When you ingest water process decaffeinated essential powder, you are not compromising on EGCG. So. What is the best way to consume the tea? Um, I, I do not add sugar. Um, it, well, you don't, you don't wanna use the, um, the forced refined sugar at all, but if, if you can uh, avoid you know, any sort of sugar, that would be the best to help the, the EGCG and catechins work best for you. And if you don't like the, the, the fresh bits of flavor of um, Hanekin's um, green tea, and then you, you can add a slice of orange, lemon, or kiwi that enhance the flavor. And also the vitamin C of these fruits will help the bioavailability of Hanekin's in the system. So it is a great addition to make. You can just you know, slice them and um, um, put, put them in a container and keep it in a fridge. And every time you make a cup of tea, you can just you know, pick, pick a slice and add it to your teacup and then done. You, know, you can enjoy the great flavor. And the best way to consume the tea is you wanna drink uh, a cup every three to four hours. And because science shows it works better if you take each serving every three to four hours so that fresh EGCG is in the system at all times. Scientific reports here see the results are um, um, dose, dose dependent and, and the more you drink, the better it works. And the EGCG uh, concentration becomes the highest in your blood after two hours of ingestion, and then afterwards it kind of um, in rapidly decreases. And um, so, if you drink, if you replenish every three to four hours, um, you have always the fresh antioxidant in the system. Now the next question, this question is one of the most popular ones. What temperature is the best to make the tea? Can I cook the powder? Does the heat destroy the antioxidant? And um, this study shows how heat resistant EGCG is. If you look at this graph, actually the EGCG stays intact after 20 minutes of the, uh, the cooking, uh, 170 degrees uh, Celsius is 338 degrees of Fahrenheit, about 350, and 200 um, de degrees Celsius is three, about 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So um, 
this shows if you use boiling hot water to make a cup of tea, it's not going to ruin the EGCG. So then that you might be wondering why you know some of the articles out there say you you don't want to use the boiling hot water to make a cup of green tea. Well, it's not because of the EGCG. It's actually the flavor. The flavor is so delicate, so you don't want to use the boiling hot water to appreciate that gentleness and subtle, you know, sweet flavor of the green tea. So the best tasting tea is made with 175 to 185 degrees Fahrenheit. That would be the best, but if you don't have time and if you have hot boiling water and you just grab a cup, it's okay. That boiling hot water is not going to ruin the EGCG. And if you'd like to have uh, some green tea, healthy snack, you can cook with it too. And the powder is just so fine and versatile. And you can make tea, of course, and latte smoothies. You can mix with you know any other um, uh, digital you know plant-based whole food to make a wonderful smoothie. Um, you can add as a topping. Um, you can bake with it too. And my uh, staple of matcha is actually you know I use ginger powder to make uh, matcha spice. I call it matcha spice because um, you know everybody knows matcha. So. Anyway, I mix two tablespoons of ginger powder, two tablespoons of garlic powder, two tablespoons of paprika, and one teaspoon of black pepper. And just to shake it up, and I have spice mix, and I use this like a salt substitute. It adds a great flavor and great uh, nutrition. The next question is, which green tea is high in theanine and low in caffeine? Um, this is a really um, hard question to answer because um, I understand what you want. You know, you'd like to get the uh, relaxing effect from the theanine, but not the caffeine. But unfortunately, nature creates green tea with a package with theanine and a caffeine. When theanine is high, caffeine is also high. And the um, theanine amount is manipulated. And um, when the tea leaf is covered in the shade, the tea leaf increases theanine amount. And for some reason, caffeine amount is also increased. So it's actually, you know, tea leaf, tea plant maintains the balance of that relaxant and the stimulant. So the ceremonial grade gives you the highest amount of theanine and the highest amount of caffeine. It gives you the calm alertness, uh, the, the highest effect of the calm alertness. So if you want to have the natural green tea, um, you, you can't get the, uh, the high theanine and the no caffeine, unfortunately. I hope that works as an answer. But since you want to have relaxant effect, I would, I'd love to talk about the relaxant effect of EGCG. Science sees green tea also supports mental health in various ways, which is a bonus for all of us, especially for cancer patients and their caretakers and families who are going through a rough time, both physically and mentally. Stress is related to inflammation. Inflammation affects hormones and the immune system, which creates vicious cycle. Tea compounds possibly affect 
dysregulated stress response systems in various ways. And you can see all the P P compounds you can get when you are drinking green tea, since the powder as a plant-based whole food. You know, you, you get all of it. And now this study shows EGCG is associated with a significant overall increase in alpha, be alpha beta, and theta brain wave activities. In comparison to placebo, the EGCG treatment also increased the self-rated calmness and reduced self-rated stress. Okay, I hear some background noise, so please mute um, for other um, audience, please. Thank you. And EGCG also protects cognitive health. EGCG prevents amyloid plaques that could cause Alzheimer's disease. Hippo hippocampus has a major role in learning and strong storing long-term memory. And EGCG forms new neurons in the hippocampus. EGCG increases blood and oxygen flow to the brain. So it is just amazing. You know, you are taking the one cup of um, sensitive priority, and you can imagine all the good things that are happening. So, tea time is yeah, not for. Yeah. Period. Okay. Hey, Shifty I can hear you. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry about that. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, um, tea time is not only good for uh, your um, physical health, but also you can use it for emotional support and you know, chemically, literally, physically support your, um, the mental health, but also you can take advantage of that and uh, you can use that tea time as a ritual time and um, you know, increase that effect. And like I said in the, in the beginning, my husband used, I mean, he didn't know any of those, but he just did it, you know, from the desire of uh, the healing. And um, he just said the mantra. You can create your own mantra and um, you can create a, a just a moment to savor, to energize. And you can imagine all the cells. And, you know, I don't, I, I don't want to sound like woo, but um, the stress is related and you can possibly act to reduce the stress by detaching consciously. You realize what's controllable, what's not controllable, and um, you can just create that habit. You can realize, you know, all the um, automatic, automatically happens or always automatically you are thinking something and that is um, that is automatic but to some extent you can control that you can realize that thoughts are habit so um, you know please feel in control and please have the faith everything is going to unfold great please use that um, cup of Tea and tea time for that amazing tea ritual time. Now, I hope you are excited about the green tea and we get a lot of questions. So what, I, what else do you have? What else do you have? And first, I'd love to introduce you to this wonderful product that Chef AJ loves. Um, I'm so grateful Chef AJ discovered this product and um, talks about about it all that time. And this is um, made with brown rice, roasted brown rice, and naturally caffeine-free and gluten-free. And a lot of people, you know, give me the um, reviews, uh, emails, emails saying, um, well, it, this one is amazing, tastes like coffee. So um, everyone's 
it's different. So I have to agree, you know, uh, some people say, nah, you know, this and that, but, you know, the, a lot of people say that and they love, love, love this um, product. And uh, Chef AJ uh, made a, amazing snacks and uh, a healthy dessert drink. And uh, actually, uh, Chef AJ's uh, new cookbook, um, 10th anniversary edition of the unprocessed cookbook has uh, that yummy recipe. So I hope you will get it and you will uh, take that into your um, routine drink too. And uh, um, the brown rice coffee alternative, this powder itself has an amazing um, health benefit for your digestive health. And um, that's going to be another um, uh, another uh, subject that I can talk. But um, if you want to know, I'd be happy to send you more information. So uh, please email me. And another one, uh, the popular one is um, adaptogens. These are caffeine-free and um, gluten-free products made with um, organic herbs and um, center the energy for post caffeine free energy anti-inflammatory these are made with turmeric ashwagandha to decrease the um, inflammation and the immune booster it's um, made with reishi um, so uh, these are uh, these can be used with green tea or you can make um, its own tea and maybe some of you can totally relate this one. Oh, I, 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 don't, I don't like green tea. I, I'd love to get the benefits, but I can't. How can I make green tea more palatable without sugar? So this is what we created. And these are the, uh, a, blend, a blend of herbs and spices and create a um, delicious Thai flavor. And it goes really well with green tea. And you can just add a pinch. And it dramatically, magically changes the flavor. And um, you, I, I hope you can enjoy this. Then you can have another cup of green tea. And um, also, we get have a lot of questions. Do you have caffeine-free tea? Yes, we do. These are two caffeine-free herbal teas. And um, the chamomile has a lot of antioxidants called apigenin, and the evening garden tea is a great one to induce quality sleep. And hibiscus is also famous high in antioxidants called anthocyanin, and um, these both of them are caffeine-free over teas that you can drink any time in the day. Now you know how to use green tea to beat the odds. And please put your knowledge into action. Then you have wonderful, wonderful quality lifestyle. We call it the quality me time, you know, semi, semi tea is me time. That quality me time with Pure low caffeine green tea along with movement, plant based whole foods, and quality sleep. So, those will improve the, the whole, your entire health system naturally. You have, and you can, you can um, get rid of, you can get rid of the cancer like my husband did. So if um, you'd like to get more um, information, I, am, um, I publish newsletter uh, once or twice a month. And um, also um, on the social media, I share um, recipes and ideas. And also um, right now we are creating um, a space where you can use for tea tasting, retreat, 
and um, I'm now a certified awareness coach, and I provide um, coaching service. So um, I'd love to uh, share those information on the newsletter and um, social media. So please sign up and um, follow our social media, Instagram and on Facebook. Now, if you're motivated to uh, start uh, your green tea regimen, uh, please shop with Chef AJ's referral discount on our website, groundgreentea.com. And uh, on the homepage, groundgreentea.com, you will see this orange button. And just click, click there, and then you jump to referrals page. And there you will see three simple steps to join that uh, discount program. And first, you create your account. Second, and the quick Chef AJ's photo, beautiful smile is there. And the, the, number three, and the, um, please complete your order in the sequence. And then you are, uh, your account is uh, associated with that Chef AJ's discount each time. When you uh, purchase your order, you get the discount 5%. And also you get the loyalty point discount. So please do this. And then um, you, you are all set to go. Okay, now, <laughs> I, I hope everybody was still, still there. <laughs> Everybody's still there. And if yeah. you have qu questions, yeah. This was wonderful, Kiyomi. You know, I'm on your website now because the spice blend that you're talking about sounds wonderful. I'm looking yeah. it up and it says cardamom, ginger, cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, and white pepper, all organic. Yes, right. Yep. Everybody loves it. And, you know, it doesn't take much, just a pinch. So it's going to, uh, you know, last a long time. And uh, this fall time, um, you know, it, it gives you a uh, hot warming flavor. So even if you love the green tea itself for a variety, I, I really recommend it. For that. That's fantastic. Do you think you could ever custom make it without the white pepper? Because I'm allergic to pepper. Ooh, sure. Yes. I will even make it like a, you know, Chef Asia, Asian version. Yeah, no, because it Come sounds over. delicious. I mean, I assume I'm allergic to white pepper because I'm allergic to black pepper, but it sounds, it sounds amazing. Because I'll be honest, I don't, I don't really love the taste of green tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love it. You know, I love the honest, and, uh, you know, I don't mind hearing it. You know, do you remember, you know, that's what my, my, my husband said, you know, ah, I can't drink this. So, I'd be happy to do that and uh, I will make it available online too. So yeah, please find the product, um, everybody. Yeah. And that sounds great. Well, yeah. there were so many questions in the chat, but I asked people to please wait until you were done to ask them. So I will start asking the questions now. And the first one is from Hushik. What is the measure of tea or how much in a cup of water? Okay. So the Sintra green tea powder takes one quarter teaspoonful to make one cup, which is eight ounce of water. But like um, um, Chef AJ said, if you, you are not really fond of the, the tea, um, tea taste, you can decrease the amount. Um, or if you like, you know, more, uh, you know, the stronger flavor, and then you can add more. And also, the temperature of water affects the flavor too. So, um, if you like uh, to enjoy that cold tea, you might want to put a little more powder to taste, to be able to taste, because the cold temperature suppresses the flavor. And uh, here, the goal is you want to make it palatable so that you will drink. <laughs> so, um, yep. Please, you know, do, you know, any way you want, you know, add the lemon juice, orange juice, kiwi was fantastic. And you can add the chai powder. So uh, please enjoy the flavor, enjoy the taste, and then you can enjoy, you know, reap the benefits more. Thank you. Well, Adele is saying that she's not allergic to pepper, but she doesn't care for it. So maybe have one that isn't is pepper free. Uh, good to know. Thank you so much for yeah, letting me know. Yes, definitely. I will make a chai without pepper. Nice. Thank you. Okay. So Sharon says, which of your products is best for lowering cholesterol? Lowering cholesterol. Okay. So um, both green tea and actually brown rice um, 
coffee products uh, associated with lowering cholesterol. And um, well, some people just mix green tea and brown rice coffee, and you are uh, welcome to do that, but um, you might want to enjoy separately. Um, but anyway, since that green tea powder and uh, unforgettable brown rice coffee. Yeah, I, I love that brown rice coffee. I actually brought it to Mexico to Rancho La Puerta where I teach cooking and introduced the people there to your product because we use oh, it in, in, in one of my recipes there actually. So yeah, good, it's good. quite delicious. What I love about your uh, organic brown rice coffee is it has literally one ingredient. Mm -hmm. Right. And, yeah. and a lot of the coffee substitutes have these fake flavors. And I just, I mean, I just don't like all the stuff in them, you know? Right, right. Yeah. I, I want to make it everything. All of my entire product line is um, like uh, the simple and um, whole food, except for new safety, of course, but the, uh, the whole food, that is the, the major concept that, you know, that I believe that, you know, contribute to the health. Okay. Well, Marcy, who's watching live says, what kind should one order that would be the best for cancer prevention? And I'm not concerned with caffeine. Okay. Not consuming caffeine. Okay. Hmm. So that, like I said, that edible green center powder decaffeinated is um, close to zero caffeine, but still, you know, about three milligram caffeine you're con um, consuming. So if you don't want that, once again, an unforgettable brown rice coffee is associated to re reducing the colon cancer and also um, the adaptogens, uh, the anti-inflammatory, the inflammation creates not just the cancer, but you know, all kinds of health problems. So that you know, controlling the inflammation is the key. Thank you. And Cecil says, does green tea affect blood pressure because I'm taking medication for that? Mm, okay. So the, uh, the med med medicine interaction with you know, uh, certain medicines, there is there um, with green tea. So if you are taking a, a blood thinner, um, you might want to um, uh, talk to the, your doctor and, and um please make sure uh, you are not consuming too much of the green tea. But, you know, if you can reduce either one of them, you wanna be able to reduce the medicine because the medicine gives you just one effect with maybe, you know, all kinds of side effects. But green tea gives you all kinds of benefits <laughs> and uh, no side effect. So the goal is, to reduce that medicine. Fantastic. And I assume you drink it every day as well, right? Right. Yeah. Every day and the multiple cups. Yeah. Oh, I saw a really nice comment from Virginia. I've been using Samey tea for over a year. I love the Sencha and roasted brown rice coffee. Oh, it smells and tastes fantastic. I'm so happy you enjoy it. Thank you. That sounds wonderful. Yeah. So how do you prepare the tea using powder if it's not water soluble? Mm -hmm. Right. That's a great question. So the powder is really fine. So when you scoop the powder into the cup and add the hot water or, um, you know, cold water will work too. You just have to uh, mix really well. We offer um, the, you know, the oil, the frother, frother will work. Um, you can just, you know, pulse the fr frother and break up the powder and um, that powder suspends in the water. You can um, whisk up really hard, or <laughs> really hard. You know, I usually just stir with spoon, but um, if you don't like that, uh, the powder, you can just um, stir really well or pulse with the frother, break up the powder, suspend make the suspension going. And after a while, you will see the settlement. And if that happens, you can um, stir again and suspension goes back again. And, or if you, if you want, you can add some more water too. Great, thank you. Roseanne, who won the Breville Air Fryer in our recent contest, make sure you're on my website, chefaj.com and subscribe because we're having a big contest on October 12th for the 300th episode of Weight Loss Wednesday it says, do you recommend covering the cup while the tea brews? 
Mm. Okay, so with this powder, you don't have to brew. You are able to enjoy instantly because um, it's um, it's a powder. You are enjoying that in a whole tea leaf. But if you are brewing the loose leaf tea, yes, you are uh, brewing. Uh, you have to wait for the brewing. And when you brew it, with lid or not, depends on, I would say, room temperature. If the room is really cold and, and the, the water temperature goes way down quickly, and then I would put the, the top on it. But if not, you don't have to worry about it. Um, actually, the, the room temperature, um, well, the, the water temperature and the room temperature, that's, that's the thing you want to consider. If you want to maintain the hot water temperature, then um, just to keep the top on. Thanks. And Lula asks, is there one, a product that you have that's good for sleep? Okay. Come, uh, that is a, um, our evening garden tea that is made with chamomile. And the chamomile has the antioxidants called apigenin, and that induces the um, quality sleep. Nice. All right. Let's see if there's any more questions. Uh, there's a comment that uh, Dr. William Wee, who's very known for his cancer research, drinks green tea daily and recommends it. Are you familiar with him? Oh, wow. Yes. Yes, definitely. We, we talked to, um, about the green tea together uh, a couple of times. And uh, yeah, he is, uh, he is really a, a promoter of the, uh, the, the food is medicine, you know? Yeah. And, yep. So Absolutely. Enjoy, the, enjoy the food. Yeah, enjoy the food, but, you know, choose, choose the good food. And um, yeah, uh, right. I... Really enjoy um, him. Yeah. So a couple people are saying they drink your unforgettable brown rice coffee beverage and they like it better than coffee. Ah, better than coffee. That's fantastic. Yeah, I, I think so too. It, it almost tastes like mocha flavor to me, at least when mm. I make it in the in the dessert recipes that I've been using. Um, yeah. What about Hiroshima toxins? What, what, what? Hiroshima toxins? Hiroshima toxins. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, Okay, so um, how how does that spell? Hiroshima. Remember, like the during World War Two, Hiroshima. Maybe it's pronounced. Oh, Hiroshima. uh huh. Yeah, I, uh, maybe uh, is she talking about the radiation? I believe that's probably. Oh, maybe. okay, okay, yeah. So um, we voluntarily test green tea products for radiation, um, microorganism, and um, lead. So. When, when you choose a uh, green tea, red, no radiation. So um, please be reassured. Great. And uh, someone's commenting that Dr. W William Lee said that a mixture of jasmine and sencha is more efficient. Have you heard that? Yes, I, I, I did. Yeah, I, actually, I read that study and um, actually jasmine tea is made with green tea. So jas jasmine tea is a Jasmine flavored green tea. So um, if you brew jasmine green tea, and best way, uh, uh, jasmine, if you brew jasmine green tea, actually you are already getting the jasmine tea and the green tea. And the, my best way <laughs> is add the center powder to it. <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh, yeah. Here's a question from Jennifer. Will this tea help with inflammation if it's caused by Hashimoto's thyroid disease? Okay, well, you know, the, the more serious the health challenge becomes, you know, the, the, the approach you're gonna take, you have to take, is gonna be the more, um, you know, the, the deep, um, the, you know, how can I say, the, the, the whole lifestyle would, would take. So, you know, if you keep everything else same and start to drink green tea, that might not help. That might not be able to help you. However, um, but the green tea studies I saw help the thyroid health too. So once again, please talk to your health practitioner and define decide the dose, how much you drink. Okay, not, nothing is good if it's too much, especially if you're on the medication. 
Great, thank you. Um, do you eat natto and do you recommend it? I wish I have natto right here available. Um, if you like natto flavor uh, smell, yes, um, definitely it, it's a good, good, good food to eat for your health. Um, you know, to get the, um, lots of um, the enzymes. It's a, you know, one of the fermented foods and also, you know, soluble fiber and then blah, 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 a lot of health benefits. But, you know, um, I don't eat it. it. Does that work for you? Be because, you know, I, I, I live in a rural countryside and I can't get that now. Great. Thank you. Can you use the tea as a broth for soups? Oh, wow. That's a great question. Thank you for asking. Yes, you can add or you can you can even create with uh, create the soup with green tea i mix garlic green tea and miso to make miso soup. and it tastes fantastic well that maybe you could do a demonstration do it on the show and, and show how you make it because there's also a question if are there certain veggies that pair better with the tea than others oh okay yeah sounds good oh let's do that that's great. Well, this is you're just such a wealth of information. You have such a wonderful product and thank you for sharing it. I did not know about your new product. Otherwise, I would have told people about it because it sounds fantastic. Yep, definitely. I'll send it to you, Chef AJ. Yeah, with <laughs> no no white pepper. And then that can be the Chef AJ version, but it sounds yeah. great. Yeah, yep. I struggle to drink it sometime because I just, it's like, I don't really love the taste in, you know, mm -hmm. but I know it's good for us. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And I, I see, Chef AJ, you enjoy the Mexican food. So um, I have um, pico de gallo recipe, for example, and um, maybe I'll send it along to you. Great. Well, thank you so much. This was very enlightening and inspiring, and I'm happy for your husband and th that he was able to, you know, overcome his cancer. That is just fantastic. Thank you so much for having me today. And, it is uh, my pleasure. It's always a pleasure. Well, thank you so much, Kiyomi. Thank you. Take care. Take care. And thanks all of you for watching another episode of Chef AJ Live. Please come back tomorrow at a bit earlier time of 9 a.m. because I am flying to L.A. because my little dog, Bailey, who just turned 11 yesterday, has to have surgery. So we're doing the show at 9 o'clock. Oh. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Oh, the guest, bye -bye. Jill Theory from Rancho La Puerta. Sorry, Jill.